Whenever you go shopping at Dollar Tree, you know that most of the stores have a pretty decent selection of glassware. You have these standard vases that you often see at thrift stores and at garage sales. You have larger vases, and you can usually find various containers like mason jars, little salt and pepper shakers, and then you can also find regular glasses, glassware like stemless wine glasses, mugs, regular wine glasses, margarita glasses, lots of glassware options. And today I'm going to show you how you can take some of these pieces and make some pretty cool DIYs. I'm excited to craft with you, so let's get started. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. I usually find these little glass bowls in the party section of Dollar Tree and I'm taking some of this fun polka dotted paper and I'm going to cut out a piece big enough to cover the bowl on the bottom and I'll trim the excess paper. Make sure that the bowl is upside down and then you're going to put some Mod Podge in the center and place the paper print side or right side down like um, away from you <laughs> and then I cut little slits all the way around kind of creating sections and then I use a paintbrush to add some Mod Podge in the sections and press the paper down and I cut the slits so that there would be less bunching up of the paper and hopefully it would lay smoother and you just work your way around the bowl adding Mod Podge as needed. And once it's completely dry, I let mine dry overnight. You can take a little finger sander or sanding block or emery board or something like that to sand the edges. Just make sure that you're sanding away from the bottom of the bowl and this will help create a clean edge. And then you're gonna give the bottom of the bowl a coat of paint all over. And for this one, I chose folk art paint in the color plaster. And the coat of paint creates a layer that helps the first layer of tissue pop and stand out. But you'll notice the paint did crackle a little bit. And we're going to repeat the entire process of applying the tissue paper, but this time put the paper print side or the right side facing out. I did the same technique with a napkin, but when you use a napkin, you need to make sure that you separate the layers and only use one layer of the napkin. And I was trying a different technique for the outside. I was trying to make it look like pottery by covering it with joint compound. And I did a third bowl. And on this one, I tried covering it with spackle from Dollar Tree just to see how it turned out. Now this is how my bowls turned out and I do need to note these are not food safe although I didn't use anything on the inside of the bowl I would only recommend using these for decor purposes or to put little trinkets in or something. I think that these turned out super cute and the ones that I have that I tried to make look like pottery I'm sorry that I'm not giving you a good look at it but they turned out great as well. Now this video is part of a collaboration that I'm hosting with some sweet friends that I've met in the DIY YouTube world. I've got the channels Hot Mess Crafting, At Home with Gigi, Lolly D's Creations, and Crafty Cove DIY, all linked below. I can't wait to see what they've created, so I've also linked the playlist as well, so be sure and check it out. With all of my projects, I try to make sure and remove the stickers, and I use rubbing alcohol to clean off the glass and remove any residue. Y'all, this DIY is so easy to make. I'm just pointing, uh, painting a little wooden bead with gold metallic paint, and I place it on some tape sticky side up to kind of hold it in place while I do it. I filled the hole in the bead with some hot glue and I used my little razor thing and finger sander to make sure it's flat on top. And I used some E6000 to attach the bead to the top of the bottom of the glass and then I let that dry overnight. And I used a wood slice that I got from Hobby Lobby as the base and that my friends is how you make the world's easiest little mini cloche. You could put all kinds of things under it of course like this pumpkin but I think a tiny Christmas tree is going to look super cute too so I'm going to try that next. I used my Cricut to create this decal that I'm going to use as a stencil for DIY number three. I weeded out the letters and the ghost shape. And I used paper transfer tape to put the decal on the glass. And did it go on smoothly? No, of course not. <laughs> but a little distant here and there, and then it was fine. And I applied a very generous coat of etching cream to the glass, and I let it sit there for about 15 minutes or so. And I put on some gloves and rinsed off the under the sink or in the sink under some warm water and that's it y'all look how super cute this turned out and it is so easy to make DIY number four is another easy one y'all I cleaned out this bowl base from the Dollar Tree with rubbing alcohol and then I started applying some fall rub-on transfers that I also got from the Dollar Tree and that's basically it I just kept applying the transfers until I was happy with how it looked it's that simple and this is how it turned out, another super cute and super easy DIY that's also very budget friendly. 
Okay, we have these two glasses. I just got these from Dollar Tree. I already removed the sticker from the bottom. What I'm going to do is tape them up so that when I spray paint them in just a second, it won't get messy. Here's how they look, all wrapped up and ready to go. And here's my little helper for the day, socks. For this project, you also need to mix equal parts water and white vinegar in a spray bottle. I'm out in the garage and this is where I do a lot of my spray painting because outside when the wind blows, bugs, grass, stuff gets on, whatever, I'm spray painting. So I bring it inside and um, I don't have a spray paint tent like a lot of DIYers do. I don't have that. So instead I just have a cardboard box and that's how I do spray painting. So I've already taped off my little jars and I've got this Rust-Oleum metallic bright reflective finish that a lot of people say buy the looking glass one i don't think they make the looking glass i think it's this one now or at least i'm hoping it is so if it turns out woo then i was right if not then maybe i need to keep looking for the right spray paint but anyway you spray paint this on just a light coat and then you spray uh spritz on the vinegar white vinegar and water solution that i made earlier and then you wait a little bit and then you blot it off blot off the excess don't get too crazy with the blotting because it could wipe off the paint so you don't want to do that so you're just supposed to blot carefully I've watched several videos on how to do this and then I mean we'll see if it worked you know me watching these videos anyways you spray paint and then you um, you can wait like 30 seconds or so then you can spritz it with the um, vinegar and water solution and then you blot it and to blot it I just put some paper towels around the paint stick so I could just kind of poke inside of it and then I was reading on what or reading I was on one of the videos they're like oh don't use the paper towel because it'll leave a mark and I'm like well that's what I'm gonna use so um we'll see how it turns out okay one thing that I've noticed it's not really eating away like I saw in the other videos but in the side that was this side didn't get any paint at all so I'm gonna have to definitely turn these around as I spray paint and as I spray that other mixture you're supposed to be careful not to wipe it or anything, just blot. And then now I'm gonna spray paint again. I did add some black spray paint and then I unwrapped them. And I used black spray paint because I saw it on another video. Mine didn't turn out as well, but I, I tried again and I sprayed the vinegar water mixture first and then I spray painted it. And then I blotted a little more vigorously and that seemed to help. But anyways, this is how the first attempt worked. And I realized I never mentioned, I'm trying to make mercury glass. <laughs> anyway, this is how the second attempt turned out and I still need practice. Last DIY for today is one I've done before, but I wanted to show you again. I took an old spaghetti jar and a candle holder from Dollar Tree, and I removed the sticker, of course. And for the little topper, I'm using a wooden snowman that I got from Dollar Tree. Hopefully it won't look too much like a snowman when I'm done, but I'm attaching it with some E6000 to the top of the lid. And I spray painted the lid and the base with Rust-Oleum spray paint in the color gray, and then I attached the glass jar to the base with some E6000. And this turned out super cute, y'all. And if you didn't know it was a snowman, you probably would still think it was a snowman. But seriously, you can use this to put things in. Like I'm using it for beads, but you could put like peppermints and give it as a gift. Stuff like that. Tons of ways you could use it. But thank y'all so much for watching my video. Check out the playlist and the other channels. You won't be sorry. And I've got links to all that below. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or on TikTok, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though because that's creepy. Bye.